try to avoid all the spoilers I can everywhere. And there's plenty on the internet because the game is, what, four years old now or something? But um, I just got this feeling. Felon, Northern Tamiria, five days later. One thing the books do really well is they have all the background on how all this shit kicked off, all the wars between the Northern Realms and Nilfgaard. And it's, it's actually really good. Some really involved plots there and things going wrong. And the, the thing with the mages, oh my god. The backstabbing plotting and the mages' civil war, and it's just... But it just sounds ridiculous, but it, it sounds quite plausible. The politics and power hungriness of it all. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. Oh no. The peasants feared coming here. And the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Mm, not good. He hanged himself good. after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. Hmm. We stand to find Imlareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlareth came here at Eredin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlareth might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his... Ew. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. The crones are three horrible individuals, and I, I don't really want to meet them again. You say there are two good endings and one sad ending, and 36 possible endings to all the side stories. Yeah, it's all the side stories. I, I, I want to know how all that's going to work out. That gives the game like insane replayability. There's, there's certain things I know I would do differently uh, when I play through again. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. Hmm, he's taught her a lot, it seems. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. The hell? What's no that going? A why. for examine? Wow. Okay, I guess... Loads of footprints. Crowd of peasants came through here. I guess it's pretty obvious where we're going then. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got a character point to spend. And we're done now, I think. We're done with the... That stuff. There is. Let me, let me see. Where are we? There was a skill in here for the, the armors, wasn't there? Cat skull techniques. Each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25% and fast attack damage by 5%. That sounds awesome. And the Griffin Skull increases sign intensity and stamina regen. Mm, not really. Not really doing it for me. Each piece of heavy armor increases vitality and strong attack. Yeah, I'm not, not really built for that. Focus. I've never looked at these, actually. Not the rest of this tree over here. Battle Trance. Advanced Pyrotechnics. Damage dealt by bombs explosion. Uh, hmm. Adrenaline burst. I mean, the cat skull stuff. That's a huge thing. Increases uh, critical hit damage by 25%. And fast attacks are the ones I use. So that's just all around fantastic. Ooh, we'll think about that. We'll think about that a little bit longer. Anything else in here? Metabolism. What's that one? Attack is the best defense. Each defensive action generates a generally point. Parries, counterattacks, dodge, rolls. Cannot be activated more than once every five seconds, though. So, hmm, maybe not that great. Okay, uh, I'm tempted to go with that, but we'll have a think about it. In the meantime, I think I've been putting points into Melt Armor. 
which I just quite like the look of. Just for the sake of it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Um, let's go. Avalach claims vanity is Imlaris' greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. Geralt? Who said that? The Siri? I can't sprint up here. I can't run up here or jump up here or anything. Should I shoot? The white one once served the ladies. But he's an house. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice flowers. They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink a plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. You don't want that. We'll sit down by a fire. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. I only went with that because it looked like it gave an extra option to the story. We don't have to hang about, maybe. <laughs> What's this guy up to? Let's get a story from old father time here. It looks like the most awkward conversation silence at the moment. Hmm. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Seems fair enough. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favour us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? Oh, he doesn't Don't like me. Anger. The white ones serve the ladies as we do now. Just try it. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Hmm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not, never ask. They eat them. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. Feed him to You're the witches. From here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye. For our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council, some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. I thought the acorns were metaphorical. It is never enough. I guess not. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies, I share your yearning. 
We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. To Thecla. Who's Thecla? That's him. Oh, there's a blacksmith here. I love the outfits these people have got on. Look at those flowery garlands. Mr. Blacksmith, yeah. have we met? Uh, let's see. I'm going to sell some stuff. Let me see what you're offering. No, I don't have much. I don't have much to get rid of. Let's get rid of uh, one of those, one of those. I don't sell the crossbow in case it's, it's my own crossbow this time. Aye, because I bet it was unequipped for the snowball fight. I bet that's my one and only crossbow that I've got there. Uh, we can go with that. I think that was... Wasn't that the, just the holy holy blade of Ard Skellig that I just sold there? Or oh, was that this one? I don't know. Let's get rid of them both. Uh, let's go for repair. Make sure I'm all fully equipped. Nice, 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 nice. Done. So long. Okay. Ah, that's a good point. Let me just uh, re-equip that crossbow. It was, in fact, unequipped. Good. Horn will horn. Uh, let us go. Ask the peasants. Let's go and stand before fire. The fire of Thecla. Look, a child. Oh, it's Johnny. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. <laughs> We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? I did wonder if we'd run into this character again. What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and... Go home with the rising sun. What about you? Hmm. Interesting. Go on, then, Indigo. What's your favourite line from Johnny? I'm a little bit worried about meeting these crones because I think I upset them by freeing that weird druid spirit from the tree and then they lost their supper when the children were freed. So I don't think the crones are going to be very pleased to see me. we got to climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. More so. Even more so. <laughs> Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. We gotta try. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief. You're worse than children. Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the lady. We three souls, perhaps? I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? <laughs> Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Hmm. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. He's up there. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Hmm. It was the voice for a reason, Pat. Your favourite? Geralt gets owned. 
<laughs> it's not often someone gets one over in Geralt in an exchange of words. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. What do you mean, meet again? It's going to be us three souls going up this mountain. Is this the. Ooh, I see a fire. Look at there's a queue of young people. Wonder, do you sell like Sabbath Greetings. souvenirs and stuff? Let me see. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. No, is the answer. What's that? Is that just an empty bottle? Yeah. Shame. I thought we might find, you know, some uh, make the crones great again hats or something Come like on. that. I went to the Sabbath and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Typical stuff. Right. Uh, oh, they, are they queuing for the soup? Okay, I thought they were queuing to see Thecla. Thecla's tent. What was the reason why Siri didn't have two swords like most witches? Did she never finish her witcher training? Who's that? She didn't go through the... I don't think she went through the trials. All the trials. The different um, sort of chemical... She didn't go through the mutations, that's for sure. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Oh. Got me answer. <laughs> Look at that face. I choose you, girl. <laughs> this night you shall see the ladies. Okay. Siri, what do you think? Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat Let's see what in? she makes of Geralt. It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. That's true. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Appearances can be deceiving. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Girl? He's spryer than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. Ooh, what's the challenge? Gwent! Gwent! Uh, I'll ask what it is first. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. Hmm, the water's dark and full of terror. I accept the challenge. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Maybe cat eyes is for males only? She would have cat eyes like Geralt if she was a witcher. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't finish the. Uh, she didn't certainly didn't go through the mutations and the trials. Well, some of the trials, but not the ones Look that involved a coin from chemicals and stuff. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Auron. Falker was a bad person. I have gathered that from the Witcher lore. Now, bring me the coin. Here we go then. Using your Witcher sense. Do I just leap off this? Just a minute. Quick save. What's in there? Ithlin's prophecy. Is it a good time to sit and read? Behold, for nigh is the time of the sword and the axe, the age of the wolf and blizzard. Nigh is the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain. Ted Deirdre, the final age. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn with a new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Hen Ica, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. They're talking about Siri there. So shall it be, watch for the signs. And I say to you what signs they shall be. First the earth will run with the blood of the Ensidae, the blood of the elves. Blood of the elves is one of the books. And that, I think, is the, the preface to it. Go on, just jump off. Let's see what happens. Oh, I was all right. Uh, well, she can't have thrown it that far, so it should, in theory, be right underneath me. Yes? 
No, of course not. That would be far too simple. Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. I have no bolts selected. You can't do that now? What? Oh, I know what's happened. I know what's happened. I was being stupid. Douche. Two drowners dealt with. Right, let me just get some air. I think this would be a good time for one of my magic potions. Killer whale. Should have a fresh supply of these. Is that it? it? Is indeed. Her hair is not supposed to look like Geralt. He has milky white and hers is ashen blonde, greyed by stress. You don't think Siri would have survived the mutations? I don't think they considered it safe to do it on her, knowing what power that she has. Uh, and down we go. Right, so we should be good for a good swim. Am I actually going full speed here? I should have had that, never mind. There it is. So now, how do I... Oh, a chest! Well, far be it for me to turn away a bit of loot when we're down here. A negotiator. I like the idea of that. I dare say I could probably do a bit more exploring down there, but... Are these the... Are these corpses of people who've tried? That looks like... Oh, it's a dead drown of corpse. No, it's okay. I thought that would be a really cool thing to put in. The people who tried and failed. So... Where the hell do I get out? Damn it. What the hell was... Oh, a fiend. Here we go. On with the fiend oil. I'm looking for relic oil. And a bit of improved Igni that we now have. Too far? Too far. Let him, let him get a bit closer. Keep dodging, Geralt. Keep dodging. There, give him a bit of the old Igni. I love that stuff. I don't think he's quite so keen on it. Oh. I imagine this guy might just take me down in one shot if I'm not careful. Let's give him some more of that. That was a nasty big hit. That was good. I like that. I feel like I got the measure of those guys. Fiend's eye and some raw meat. Hmm, <laughs> stress. What stress is like 20? Oh, I agree. That is like saying young people can't be stressed. Can't be tired. I don't remember feeling that stressed about things at that age, though. But then, I don't think my life was quite as hectic back then. I swear, as you get older, days get shorter. Minutes go by faster. I'm convinced of it. Less time to do stuff. Beginning to worry. Yes, Come, yes, yes. Let's get the key. Right then, do I have to talk Something's to you? They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the chosen may look upon them. Ugh. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. I don't want to look at them again. Especially the one with the gammy yeah, eye. Coin Horrible. You tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! So who's the third soul? Or do they go up at a separate time to us? Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop lying. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah. That's very true. I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugal. That's the story. That's the one that was referenced earlier. Where he went up to his waist in a cesspit. <laughs> That's why I love this. There's so many references in. If you've read the books, you catch so much more than when you read the books after playing the game. More stuff in the books means to you. It's a, it's a nice little combination. The stories do line up, or, or at least not 100%, but um, some of the time, 
And the bits I've read so far have vaguely lined up with events that I know has happened here or elsewhere. So it's, uh, it's all good stuff. Young people don't sleep, do they? Like vampires. I, I remember sleeping a lot <laughs> when I was younger. More than I did now. Or do now, I should say. Take the path. Okay. Did I just... I, it wasn't me. Don't look at me like that. Right, is Siri with me? Let's go. This might be a good time for a quick set. What? We met a troll. Two poo. Hmm. It's the old god. Is it? What's your name, girl? It's not the same one. What's yours? Mm. Your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. He has the same voice. And you? Ah, let's go with that. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. Hmm. All right. Okay. So, let me see. Fugus. He's not not the old god or whatever he was going to say. Um. Let me just look at my glossary because I've not fought one of these before. I didn't have to. What are they? They're definitely not Elementa. I don't think they're they're not hybrids, are they? Oh, Salma gets her own entry in there. Interesting. Uh, let's take a look. Not necrophages. They're not. Are they relics? Are they relics? Sylvans. They are relics. Okay. Vulnerable against bombs. Bombs. Relic oil. An igni. Nice. That's what we want. I know there's a skill, isn't there, that automatically equips the right oil for these situations. But I've not fought one of these, so this is going to be interesting. Ow! Go on, Siri's got him looking the other way, which is really handy. Big fat ass, come here. No, hang on, let's just set him on fire. Fun! <laughs> so that old bint, that old blind bint, wanted me to die here, didn't she? Right. We'll have to pay her a visit on the oh, way back. Tough son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlarith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlarith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> He's going for it. Siri's going after the crones. Best of three. Do I get to choose here? No. Three. Fate has decided. Imelrith is dangerous. I'll, I'll say fate has decided. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain. You face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. They are indeed. You too. I don't know. I don't know if this was the right decision here. We must get down there. Oh, right. So I actually get to play as Siri, eh? Okay. What was that? Oh, I don't need to pick up mushrooms and stuff. Ah. Hmm. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. You are kidding. Let's take a quick save. Uh. Would you really? Okay. That turned out better than I thought. She doesn't have witches type senses, does she? 